Last week, EA pushed out a patch for The Sims that completely devastated the appearance of a lot of people's characters. After said update, The Sims looked completely different. Their eyes were sunken in, their lips were incorrect, their eyes were completely incorrect, even down to the frame of their bodies was not correct and it was devastating to a lot of players. Well, today EA has dropped an emergency patch to fix these issues. Before we go any further, I do want to remind you to go back up all of your save files as well as take out all of your mods. But this was an emergency patch. They have released this today on Wednesday, April 26th. This is an unusual day for them to push out a patch and is not normally done at all. So this is an emergency patch to fix your Sims. This patch is coming in at 290 megabytes. So this is not a very big patch. Here are the patch notes and we're not going to go over every little thing listed here, but pretty much what it is saying is that they have re-enabled the loose tooth feature. If you recall, they had actually pulled this feature out of the game because once more, it was a glitchy feature. When a sim had a loose tooth and they pulled it out and then aged up to a teen later, their entire appearance would change. Their skin tone, their eye color, their face, literally everything about the sim would change. So to prevent further issues, they had actually pulled the entire feature out of the game. But with this update, they have put it back out. So this feature is once again back and returned and hopefully without any glitches this time. But the main part that I really want to touch on is right here under base game. It states, an issue that was causing subtle adjustments to the appearance of Sims in the April 18th update has been resolved. You may have noticed this issue affecting the appearance of things such as Sims eyes, teeth, and facial structure. Any sim that was created prior to the April 18th update should return to looking as they did before. So if your sim changed and they didn't look correct, this will revert that process. So you will be getting your sim back. They will look exactly the way they did before the last update. That is very important and very, very good. I was so worried that if you had gotten this bug and then saved that you would lose how your sim looked prior, but that is not the case. However, this next point is interesting. Any sim that was created between the release of the April 18th update and this update will have minor adjustments to their appearance as a result of them now being correctly rendered. So if you've created a sim since that update, they may look different. Now, how different they will look, I'm not really sure. But overall, this was a big update and something that was really needed. I'm very happy that they did not wait on this and went ahead and pushed it out today. Okay, so I am in game right now. I got very curious and wanted to look this up. This is a character I created just this morning before the update. I wanted to see how she had changed, if any. So here she is, very cute, if I can say so myself. And I did take a picture of her prior to the update. So here is a picture of my sim before the update. And this is her after the update. There are a few differences. I can immediately see a few differences between the two. For one, the eyes were much wider before the update had happened. And after the update, they're not quite as wide as they were. The mouth looks more or less the same to me. And the cheeks look about the same. Really, I see it more in the eyes than I do anywhere else. So yes, there are going to be very small, slight changes to the Sims that you made after the April 18th update. And this is just an example of what you may be seeing. But overall, I am quite happy with this patch. I obviously have not tried out the re-enabled feature of the loose tooth, but I will be trying that out later today. But for me, the big issue was 
my Sims appearances changing. I really did not like that. I really don't ever want to see that happen. So I'm very, very happy and pleased that they did in fact fix this. Let me know down below in the comments if you were originally affected by the April 18th face bug. And let me know now if it has been resolved. But that is all I have for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and to subscribe down below as it truly does help to support me. I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.